everybody, welcome back for another Little Steamers video. Today we're going to be doing a space themed activity in order to celebrate our month long celebration of the Webb Space Telescope launch. Throughout the month we are going to be releasing space themed activities and programs for you to join us for. And within each program, please listen for the secret code which I will say at the end of this video for you guys to enter into our Beanstack Challenge where you could win a prize. All right, let's get started. In today's Little Steamers Challenge, you're gonna need a few different things. Some of these things you might have around the house and some of them you might have to purchase, depending on the supplies you have. So the first thing you're gonna need is a box. I have a cardboard box here that I'm going to be using. You want one that's a little bit shorter, but a tall one would work as well. I just feel like um, the shorter height ones are a little bit easier to manage. Um, so that's why I'm using this one here. If you don't have a cardboard box, you can use a pan or a pot, or you can also use um, like a cereal box that you cut in half um, lengthwise. So you still have the edges of the um, sides of the box up there for you to have a barrier. So you need a barrier because we are also gonna be using marbles. So I bought a pack of marbles here from Walmart. They were about $2 or $3 for 50. Uh, sometimes you can also find them at the dollar store or you may already have them laying around at the house. So the next thing you're gonna need is some paint. So I have some washable paints here that I'm going to be using. So you, you may already have paint at home or this might also be another supply that you might have to pick up from a store, whether it be the dollar store, Walmart, Target, a lot of places now carry uh, washable paint for you to use. You're also gonna need a paper plate to put the paint on. You're going to need a piece of black construction paper. And you're also gonna need a piece of white paper that you are going to draw a circle on and cut out. Uh, so I have one pre-printed up I found the circle template online and I just printed it out on a white piece of paper. If you don't have a printer, just drawing a white circle or tracing something with a circle bottom will also give you the same result. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut it out. All right, so let's get started with today's activity. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out your circle. As you can see here, I had the template, so I'm just cutting along the lines that were a part of that circle template. Next, you're going to want to grab some glue. Here, I'm just uncapping and putting my stick glue on my circle that I'm going to then paste onto the black piece of construction paper. This is going to be the base of our planet. Next, you want to grab some tape. Um, I, this is an optional step, but I really recommend it. You tape your construction piece of paper with the planet on it inside the box or the pan or the tray or whatever you're using for this activity. All right, now for the fun part. We are gonna grab our paper plate and we're gonna start putting some paint on our paper plate. As you can see, I'm just pouring a small amount of each paint color onto the paper plate. You don't need a whole lot, so don't feel like you need to put a lot on your paper plate. And these are all the colors I decided to go with. Uh, this is all washable paint. And this is going to be the messy part. You're going to take your my roll and you're going to completely coat it in one of the colors that you'd like to start out with. And then you're going to place that marble filled with paint onto the planet in your box. And then the fun part, you're going to shake your box back and forth, side to side, and move it all around so that the paint starts creating these lines. As you can see, I did this with each color that I had, and I just kept shaking, trying to get different designs on my planet, um, putting the marble in different places, and then I'm um, just, you know, shaking the box and seeing what kind of pattern I could get. So you're going to want to repeat these steps over and over, coating your marbles in paint, placing them in the box and shaking the box until you have created this design that you would like to have. I kept doing this over and over again, coating it with more and more paint until I was happy with the planet design that I created, as you can see here. When you're all done, you can remove the construction paper from your box or your pan, and then you're going to want to let it dry. Otherwise, you can let it dry in the box, but you are all set. 
Thank you so much for joining us for today's Little Steamers activity. I hope you had a lot of fun making your planet and seeing all the different paints mixed together to create a cool design. So for today's secret code, our secret code is PLANET. P-L-A-N-E-T. PLANET. Be sure to enter that secret code into our Beanstack Challenge in order to get entered into our prize. For more Little Seamers activities and videos and any other of our other library programming, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out all of our social media pages. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I cannot wait to see you for our next Little Steamers video. Goodbye!